What's up, Internet? Reviewing today the ROG Ryu 3360 ARGB. Pero may problema yung mga AIOs ngayon. Not a problem for us consumers, we're actually spoiled for choice. Ang daming mga magagandang AIOs ngayon. From Deepcool, NZXT, MSI. Since last year, we've been covering a lot of them. So many good options. Problema ngayon for brands. How do they make their AIO stand out? And especially if you're going for a premium AIO, like a 360mm rad AIO, of course you want the performance, but at the same time you also want a little X factor, a little something extra. You may oomph, you may dating, you may pizzazz. Na parang magobago talaga yung look ng rig mo, kasi kinuha mo yung AIO na yon. NZXT is great at this with their Z series, yung may LCD screen on top of the CPU block. So monod naren si MSI with their Meg Core Liquid S360. And we've actually reviewed an AIO from ROG very recently, yung LC2360. And while that was a good performer, yung kulang niya para sa akin, it lacked that little something extra. It was very plain looking. Yung nga, malamig nga yung CPU mo, pero ikaw, hindi ka umiinit, hindi ka na-excite. And that's what we're gonna be looking at for the Ryu 3360 today. One, is it a good worker? Does it perform well? Does it keep the CPU cool? But also number two, is it a looker? When you put it in your rig, gumaganda ba yung aesthetics ng rig mo? To see if we could stress out the cooler, we got an Intel i9-3900KF. Basically, the hottest, fastest Intel CPU currently available and ran two popular stress programs with it. Ambient temp was 22 degrees. In Prime 95 small FFT, the lowest temp recorded was 77 degrees with a max temp of 89 and an average temp of 79 degrees. Similar numbers actually in Cinebench R23 with a lowest temp recorded of 69 degrees, max of 81, and an average of 74 degrees. Now these are all very decent numbers, particularly with the average temps all staying below 80 degrees. The i9-3900KF will throttle at 100 degrees, meaning that if it hits that temperature, it will slow down to cool off and the user will not get the full speed of what the CPU is capable of. The Ryu 3 360 ARGB cools so well that it stays well below 100 degrees even when the CPU is cranked up all the way via the stress programs we tried. So performance is good and it can keep up with the hottest CPUs. But to be honest, there's really nothing surprising about that. Asus and their sub-brand ROG are known for their quality and they don't disappoint here. What surprised me about the Rio 3 360 ARGB though is that I actually like the aesthetic. Liked it so much that I've installed it on my personal rig. Yes, it does have ARGB fans but the star of the show here is the CPU block and Asus has gone a different route than its competitors. Most brands have gone for high resolution fidelity or getting the best possible image quality onto the display of the CPU block. ASUS has gone for a very stylized 8-bit kind of graphic and to be honest, I really dig it. The resulting graphics are bright, 8-bit themed certainly but not blocky. And bright, not in the sense that they hurt your eyes, but bright kind of like diamonds are bright. They're scintillating, they catch your eye they immediately get your attention. The CPU block can display text, so you can ask it to display metrics like CPU temperature, GPU temperature, GPU frequency. But I suspect a lot of users will be asking it for its graphics, which since they are very stylized, you'll be relying on the stock graphics provided by ASOS, which I wish there were more of. You can cycle through the provided animations through Armory Crate, and the problem is there isn't a lot of them. You can put your own image and ask it to animate it, and you can guide it through the animation, but to be honest, that's a lot of work. So I suspect for most users, the stock animations will be the ones they look at and they are quite pretty. Eye-catching, distinctive, they really set your rig apart. Personally, when I look at the aesthetics of an AIO, it's really more, I won't be staring at this for five minutes at a time. It needs to be something that at a glance will make my rig stand out, will make my rig look different, 
will make me think, ah, that's something I haven't seen before. And definitely the Ryu 3 360 ARGB hits the spot. Not so much for the ARGB fans, I've seen a lot of that from a lot of brands, but for the very distinctive anime matrix, that's what Asus calls it, CPU block display. I mentioned at the start of this video that we reviewed the LC2 360 as well from ASOS and while that was a good performer, the aesthetics left me a bit cold. With the Ryu 3 360 ARGB, ASOS has hit the two boxes. Performance good, aesthetics also good. This AIO currently retails above 16,000 pesos, which is a lot. <laughs> For that admittedly steep price, you are getting an excellent cooler with a very distinctive aesthetic. We're giving this one an overall rating of 4. Good, and personally, I think it has a lot of character. But considering its price, I wish there were ways to express that character, either through more downloadable images for the anime matrix screen, or an easier way to customize your own images. Paminsan may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent cable management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.